NASA Administrator Charles Bolden has reaffirmed that the agency's main goal is to put an astronaut on Mars by 2030. Now here in the Astronomy Department at NMSU, graduate student Robert Edmonds says his research may one day help keep those astronauts safe. The simplest way is to describe it as I'm, I'm like the Mars weatherman. Imagine you're one of the first astronauts to walk on Mars, and this happens. You probably would have wished to check the weather report before going outside. According to NMSU professor Dr. James Murphy, these storms will be cause for concern for any astronauts walking on the surface. So all the materials you have on the surface are going to get coated in dust. And in, you know, in general, that's going to be a bad thing rather than a good thing for the equipment that is part of the science effort and also the survival effort for the astronauts. Robert Edmonds has been awarded a $30,000 fellowship by NASA to investigate what causes massive dust storms in the Martian atmosphere. I'm attempting to see if waves in Mars atmosphere have a, a role in the development of dust storms on Mars. With the help from data obtained from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Edmonds is able to study gravity waves in the upper atmosphere. So I'll be using what you might think of as weather models uh, to kind of examine uh, examine the atmosphere, see if if I do some, if I apply gravity waves in, in a certain location, uh, apply the effects of gravity waves, whether that would be able to in, uh, influence the development of a dust storm in this model or not. He says if all goes well with the research, future astronauts will be able to forecast weather on the surface of Mars. If there is this link between uh, what, what I call gravity waves and, and, and dust storms, if that could be established, it would allow us to forecast dust storms uh, that the astronauts might encounter. Now on August 5th or 6th, NASA's Science Lab rover is expected to land on the surface of Mars. Edmonds says it may be a while until he can get his hands on that data, but he hopes to use it in his future research. In Las Cruces from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jared Ortega, ABC7.